Today my guest again is Crystal Bowman. Spiritual concepts are challenging for children, but yet they have such a deep capacity for faith. Welcome to Heritage of Truth. Today my guest again is Crystal Bowman. Welcome back. Well, thank you for having me again. Well, you've got a new book called My Grandma and Me, Rhyming Devotions for You and Your Grandchild. And I'm a grandma. And so am I. And I have two precious little grandchildren, and that was what interested me in this new book. So why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Well, I became a grandmother um, just a year ago, and I was... Uh, talking with one of my editors at Tyndale and and she said you know I think it's time for you to write a book for grandmas and I said I would love to do that so it's a devotional book um, it, this is just a sample it's going to be a hardcover mm -hmm. um, 68 page book and it's a book for grandmothers to use with their grandchildren and it's it's fun but still very you know spiritually deep and um, but age appropriate. I always try to keep things very age appropriate so children can understand them. Um, but it's designed to equip grandmothers um, to talk about spiritual things with their children, with their grandchildren, and um, and to stimulate some discussion. I think questions will come from this. That's so. good. And one of the things that I like about your writing is you usually have a a way of making abstract concepts come alive for children and was that difficult for you to do in this? Um, well that's something that I do frequently and yes it is challenging because you need to find those right words um, to make to make them understand what what this means and, and spiritual concepts are challenging for children but yet they have such a deep capacity for faith and for believing oh, don't they? that oh. if we can just use the words to help them understand it they will believe it mm -hmm. so so what about parents who uh, I mean grandparents who have children who don't believe um, well that can get touchy I'm sure um, so I guess you know the grandmother needs to decide um, you know what is appropriate that she can do with her grandchildren, but um, this is not real um, overly doctrinal. Mm -hmm. um, it's just you know faith in God and God loves you and Jesus is God's son, and I, I guess that would be up to the grandmother to to decide you know whether okay. or not she's stepping on mom and dad's toes. But um, I think that grandmothers, whether they have whether their children our believers or not, we, grandmothers have a way of being able to influence yeah. you know, those grandchildren. I, I've, I've heard from so many people where they're, some, some of them even pastors, where it was their grandmother yes. who prayed and yeah. prayed and yeah. prayed and, and witnessed to them when they were young and then eventually right. they... And even, yeah. even if mom and dad are Christians, mom and dad are busy. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not to take anything away from them, but, mm -hmm. but let grandma you know, supplement what they're doing and add to what they're doing. And, you know, in, um, in the New Testament, Paul refers to um, Timothy's faith that was handed down from his mother and grandmother. That's so right. that's the best case scenario, obviously, mm -hmm. when you do have godly parents, but then you have this godly grandmother mm -hmm. who's going to also invest into those children spiritually. Yes. Well, one of the things that I... I just thought of, I have a granddaughter who is old enough to understand this mm -hmm. concept. My grandson's still too young, but she lives in another state. And I was just thinking that grandparents could buy a copy for themselves, mm -hmm. grandmothers, and then buy one for the child, and then you either can get on the internet where you can actually mm -hmm. see each other and talk to each other, or you can do it by phone because my granddaughter and I will often talk on the phone and she will say grandma would you read me a story and so I will read her stories over the over telephone the phone. Yeah. so if we both have a copy of this book mm -hmm. then we can go I say can you go to page, page eight, eight and then mm -hmm. we can 
read the read book together. together. Yeah. So we actually make yeah. that suggestion in the mm -hmm. introduction um, because, yeah, let's face it, um, grandma. You know, to have that child in your lap, of course, that would be ideal. But today, <laughs> today's families, extended families, are many of them do not live in the same town. They might mm -hmm. live in another state. They might live in another country. Mm -hmm. And I think I have a friend whose daughter and husband and and their children, um, they're on an assignment to Russia for a few years. Yes. And so they they Skype, they keep that face-to-face -face connection. And for someone like that, what what a resource and tool this is to, mm -hmm. to, to have that time. I have a friend in Michigan whose grandchildren live in California. And every evening after dinner, they get on Skype, they have that face-to-face -face contact, and she reads them a bedtime story. Oh, how sweet. So, yeah, so, I, you know, I was thinking of her, you know, when I wrote this. So, you know, yes, so how, how great to have that child in your lap, but if that grandchild is, you know, if you're separated geographically, this is, this even, you know, this is a great tool because you can, yes. like you say, if you each have a copy of the book or even with Skype, only one of you needs a copy or the grandmother. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we don't have to, with today's modern technology, we don't have to be in the same room at the same time in order to share something like this. Right. Well, what are some of the special features? Of well, I always um, try to include scripture in my books because it, it just reinforces where this came from. These are not mm -hmm. my words. This is from scripture. And um, so it, it starts with, with like a little promise or title or um, like God is, God is with you. And then I have the Bible says so that we know that this comes from scripture. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. And then the reference Psalm 16 verse 8. And then I have two little rhyming verses that explain what this means. And then following that we either have a prayer or a little song that the grandma can share with her grandchild. Yeah, my so. granddaughter gets on the phone and sings with me too. So Well, and the yeah. thing too is that grandmothers have time. You know, mm -hmm. mom is busy. She might, you know, have have other things to do and who knows how many children there might be in the home. And, um, you know, grandma has time. I know when I have my granddaughter, um, you know, I can hold her and rock her and I don't have anything, I don't have any place else to go. I don't have anything else I have to do. And my daughter-in-law said, how do you always get her to go to sleep so fast? And I said, I think because I'm so relaxed and I don't, I'm not thinking about those dirty dishes in the sink or, mm -hmm. or you know, that laundry in the laundry room or, you know, all I'm doing is just focusing on her and thinking about her. Mm -hmm. And I know that mothers do that too, but they can't always do that, whereas right. grandma can. Well, where can people find this book online? Well, it's published or? by Tyndale. Okay. Um, so I would highly recommend going to Tyndale's website. I also have a website, um, and the Christian bookstores for sure will be carrying it. Christianbooks.com, okay. all of any, any distributor, online distributor or bookstore who carries Christian books, it will be there. Okay. Well, thank you for being my guest. Well, you're really welcome. It was it. my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Stop.